Okay guys, so if you wanna see how I got this look, uh, stay tuned for this video. Um, this will be kind of my go-to fall look. I think it's really nice. Sorry, this side looks, I don't know what happened, but it does not look as good as this side. So if you wanna see how I got this look, <laughs> please stay tuned. Um, so this is just what's in my everyday makeup bag. Um, and this is kind of my go-to fall look, I would say. I will be posting more soon. Um, just stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's jump in. Okay, so we're going to start with primer. This is the Master Prime by Face Studio in Blur Plus Smooth, the 100. Um, this is the packaging. Make sure focuses. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... I really like this primer um, for a number of reasons. Obviously, it is drugstore. Maybelline is a drugstore brand. And it really does its job. Like, it is pretty amazing. So, I have really big pores. Sorry, I'm adjusting my mirror. Around my nose and... And I have a lot of texture around that area as well and this just really helps to blur and smooth everything and I just I recently found it and I have really been in love with it now I use a, a decent amount I'd probably use two of these per application but I really want to make sure I get everything so that would be why and something I really like about this primer is that no matter what it doesn't like ball up like I've had other primers do so that's always nice. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see the texture. Yeah, you guys can see the little bumps along my skin. That's why I use a blurring and smoothing primer. So the foundation I'm going in with today is the Milani 2-in-1 foundation. It's Conceal and Perfect. This is in 00 Light Natural. Lila, lay down. Lay down. Sorry about my dog, guys. Um, this is in 00 Light Natural. They came out with a bunch of new shades recently. Um, and before I had Creamy Vanilla, I want to say. And it was way too orange for me. So I use about two pumps of this. The sponge I'm using today is from... Oh, sorry, that's not like From this collection... It is the one, I believe, right here. Um, I love these sponges. They're great. It is 10 for 12 bucks. This is the size. They come with a bunch of different shapes and really enjoying them. So if you guys see me look over here, it's because my mirror is right here. I'm going to try to get it as close as I can. I really need to clean my mirror. Can you guys see that line? <laughs> so mainly what I use my foundation for is obviously to kind of hide my texture and also to cover all my redness because I have a lot of that. And the Milani concealer, or dang it, the Milani foundation works very well to cover all of my problem areas. So that is definitely something that I like. So as you can see, it is looking pretty decent. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a matte finish, but on my skin type, it's definitely not matte. 
So I usually set this with powder. And it works pretty decently. Uh, my other favorite foundation is the L'Oreal True Match. It's a really good foundation and very double coverage. So now, let me that way a little bit. The concealer I'm using is the Master Conceal by Face Studio. Actually, first I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using the Salon Perfect Done in One Brow Pomade in light brown. Um, this is what it looks like, even though like you can obviously dab and stick in my brush into it. So. Please ignore my two biting dogs. Okay, here's one. If you compare it to the other, you can definitely see the difference. Now I'm just gonna comb that out a bit, just to kind of blend it. Oh yeah, so this is a little warm for me, but I'm gonna use it anyways because I cannot find a blonde one for this, so. So, sorry about the light. It's my can or my flash. So that one's a little more boxy. There we go. Okay, so eyebrows are done. So we're gonna go ahead and go on to concealer. I am using again the this one. It is by the way, it's in tin fair. I really like this concealer. It is the bomb. It's very full coverage. It's surprisingly very light. Um, I have a problem finding that in most concealers. Usually they're a little too, they match my skin tone. And when I'm trying to highlight, it's not the best idea. And I'm gonna put that on my eye as well. Now look like zombie guys. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and blend it in. Oh my goodness, and I just got wet. Mm. Ignore that, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, okay, that's looking a lot better. So now I'm just gonna do the other side, and then we'll go in and spot conceal as well. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna blend it out. As you can see, you can still see my bags, especially in the light. But I'm okay with that. I just wanted to cover the texture that I have. I'm also using it as a primer. I found it really works well like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, next I'm going to dampen this. This is just like a velour puff kind of thing. Sorry, mine's kind of dirty, but. And I'm dampening it with photo finish uh, primer water from Smashbox. Just to kind of. So with this, um, I'm going to go ahead and bake under my eyes, around my nose, and on the upper lip to hopefully avoid um, bad things happening. <laughs> so, it, by the way, this is the... Cotty Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent with Extra Coverage. This has a lot of different shades, I believe. So, that is always good. So now I'm just gonna 
pull up the little tape I have put down. And then after I do this, I just kind of And then I pour some in the container lid. And I do that. And then I put the little puff back in. And so now I'm going to go ahead and bake with this. I like to powder my whole nose just because I have a lot of not breakup but the foundation <coughs> really like doesn't like to stay put there okay so now that we're awful bake ignore all the powder everywhere guys I'm sorry about that um we're gonna go in and contour and then bronze after that and then we'll do our highlight and we'll get into the ads so this is the wet and wild contour palette this is in 749 Deutsch de Leche I'm using just a little toothbrush uh, not toothbrush oval brush to do it so I don't like to bring it too far now this is a little powdery, so I would definitely recommend being careful on how far you bring it, obviously. So I'm just going to use my handy dandy sponge to kind of fix that. And now we're going to do the other side the same way. Now I'm just going to kind of clear off the nose. And then we're going to So we're done with contour. So before we get started with bronzing, I'm going to take some of my loose powder that I have left and just even up that line. Okay, and now we're just going to dust it away. We're actually going to dust all the translucent powder. And I like to kind of set the rest of the face with it. So now on to bronzing very quickly. Here it is. This is just an angled powder brush. Or an angled contour brush if you will. So I'm just going to take a little. By the way, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Parfait Bronzing Face Powder in 720 Sunny.
So I'm actually going to use my powder brush to kind of swirl around and just bronze up the face. And then we're done with that. And then now we're on to highlight. This is the Master Chrome in 100 Molten Gold. Yeah, um, this is in that the Master Collection by Maybelline. I'm just gonna take this um, contour brush um, from Wet n Wild. Make sure I have it for now. That glow dough. Definitely gorgeous. And I like to keep it like this and then just dust it on. I'm not a big blush fan, so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my nose. Perfect. Now that we're a glowing goddess, we're going to close that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the powder brush again, make sure I get all my product off. And I'm just going to dust my forehead, my nose, and my chin with. some powder and then we're going to go in with our velour puff and dampen it again because obviously it's still not damp and just press everything into the skin now you could also do this step with the beauty blender but i prefer the puff Or what I also like to do is to spray my face and then use the blur. This is to help make it more skin-like, I believe, um, instead of powdery. So for the lips, we're just gonna do, this is Gemini by Jeffree Star on the lips. So I really love this lip color, especially during the fall. So yeah. I'm just using a two-sided brush and I'm gonna go in with the All Natural palette. Um, first I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this deep burgundy, or the shade beside the deep burgundy, this brownish color. I'm gonna put that on my brush. By the way, this is the Wet n Wild All Natural Palette in 754 Nude Awakening. These are all super pigmented and they are just great quality. And I always do... I always do... Uh, mascara after I finish this part because I don't want it to like seep in to what I'm doing. And then to deepen that up, I'm just going to go in with this dark brown again with the same side I just used. Put that in the corner and then blend it. 
I'm also going to use the flat end, and I'm going to go in with this just to kind of highlight I'm just going in with these two shades mixed together perfect so now we're just doing the And then we're gonna go into this purple shade, which is this one. Just add a touch of it on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go in again with some of this and just kind of work that in. Perfect. Hand brush, and I'm gonna just use this shade after I wet in this, and we're gonna use that as a pop of color. So I would definitely recommend these palettes if you haven't already got them. So I'm not big on the cat eye, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Scandalize um, Mascara, and this is going to finish our look. I was going for a really vampy look today. <sighs> So I'm going to go pop on some eyeliner and I will be right back. Okay guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!